guys are doing. So it is the day before my weekly update video. Um, I wanted to do this earlier in the week, but I needed to fix things and I didn't have time and life. So, um, this video is going to be about my bullet journal. I have shown this a couple times in previous videos. Um, Julian Self Journal 2018. Um, it's my bullet journal and it helps me keep track of everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. If it wasn't for my bullet journal and my calendars and my notebooks and everything else, I don't even know where my mind would be right now. So, bullet journal. I have tabs um, on the side. Whoops. Um, to help me kind of figure out where everything is. Uh, the key is the first thing um, that tells me. This is really awkward, sorry. And I know that my computer is not the best, but you'll see like a little hard little exclamation point. Um, it tells me, okay, here's an appointment. Uh, here's a little reminder or a note. Uh, this particular item is urgent. Um, it shows me what to put down when I've started a task but haven't finished it. Finished a task. Uh, when something has been canceled moved, um, if I need to send out an email, call somebody, look something up. Um, I have buy on here for like groceries and other things, but I haven't actually used that yet in this journal, but it's there just in case I need it. Same thing with events. I haven't really used that part yet. <clears throat> um, the next part is books to read, which right now I only have one book in it. One book in there, and I'm not gonna try to get this to focus. Um, I'm not gonna try and get it to focus. You can kind of see it says books to read, and then I have like a little. I drew a little shelf of books, and each book has is going to have a title in it. Um, when I decide, oh, this is a book that I need to read. Um, right now, there's only one book that's uh, got a title in it. And I'm in the middle of working on that book. It's a big, thick book, so it's going to take me a while. And then I will color that in, color that particular book in when I'm done with it. And then... Sorry, I thought that was my kid. It's the kid upstairs. <laughs> um... And I will do that with each book that I read. Um, now here's the fun part. The weight loss goals. Um, I have each pound. And each pound that I lose, I color in what my current weight is. So I'm at 244. So that last uh, lavender purple color is at 244. Um... And I actually thought about this later because I didn't think I was going to gain back any weight, but I did um, there for a bit. I was at 247, so I gained a little bit back. And I thought about it, and I was like, what do I do when I do that? So what I'm going to do after, what I'm going to do now is if that happens again, I'm going to kind of put a star next to the weight that I'm that I'm currently at so that it shows okay this is where I was and when I lose that again um, I will mark the star out somehow whether I just black it out or mark it with a different color or whatever um, now I'll be honest I have not used it this journal since the end of January, um, which is kind of part of why I fell off the wagon. Um, because like I said, without this, uh, I don't even know where my mind would be. So I kind of went in today and was like, okay, so February, I like drank hardly any water. So 
if you can kind of see in February right here, all of it is red. And my key um, red for zero to 65 ounces, uh, 66 to 100 ounces is purple. And then 101 to 130 ounces is blue. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. I'm sorry, my camera quality sucks. So I have that for every month. I have little droplets of water that I color in at the end of the day. Um, I didn't do good with my water today either. This I'm finishing off my second 20 ounces. And then of course, uh, the month, each month, I have a little calendar, uh, first through the seventh and so on for each month. Um, I just showed you January, which um, January I have tasks, some I finish, some I don't, some get moved according to my key, you know, just looking at my key and then looking at that, okay, I see that I had uh, on the 16th that I had had a, it was supposed to have an appointment, but it got moved. And then I had some things that I needed to do that I didn't get done. So on and so forth. Uh, did the same thing for February. Well, I was supposed to do the same thing for February. I started and didn't finish. And then, um, so I'm going to move on. I'm not going to show you this page yet because I have pages just like it. March. Okay. So, oh, I like skipped a bunch of stuff. Oh, sorry guys. I'm not even following my own. I'm being bad. Okay, so um, I have a section called How Am I Feeling Today? Um, that is color-coded how I'm feeling. My key is that happy is orange, sad is blue, red is angry, uh, gray is depressed or anxious, green is pained, and purple is a mix. When I have the purple, when I have purple days, um, I will put in initials for what I was feeling that day. So like D slash A is depressed and anxious, uh, pain is P, angry is A, S is sad, H is happy. Um, so I'll write those in. Um, again, February, I just kind of looked back. Like I said, I feel February in like today because I haven't used it in so long. Uh, February, for most of February, that's gray in there. Um, there's uh, the first day was a green day, which is a pain day. I was in a lot of pain on the first. And then after that, it was just depression or anxiety like the entire month. Um, if you look back at January, it's a little more mixed. There's different days. There's some orange in there. There's some purple where it was mixed days. A uh, couple days of depression. One anger, angry day where I was just angry at everything. I do that because I do have um, depression, anxiety, uh, PTSD, and I also have fibro. And it helps me keep track of how I'm feeling so that... When I go into the doctor, I'm like, hey, so I've had days where I'm just angry all the time. So what's up with that? What do we what do we need to do to help me with that? Um, or I felt a lot of pain all month, all this month. So what are we going to do about that? So that's what that's for. And just to keep me aware of how I'm feeling and just kind of help me go, kind of step back and go, okay, because I have to record this at the end of the day. So I go, okay. So was I happy most of the day? Was I angry? Was I just in so much pain that it didn't matter how I was feeling? Um, today was a mostly anxious day um, and some pain, but that was due to my toddler. So I don't think I want to put that down because it had nothing to do with my, with my uh, chronic illnesses, but I did have some pain but it was mostly anxiety today. Um, and then I have this page, which I call my spoonful of sugar page. Now, if any of you have seen Mary Poppins, you know what that's referring to. 
uh, medication. Yes, medication, um, which I put in green. If I don't take my medication, I don't fill it in. So January, like the first, what is that, six days, um, I, I, I was bad and I didn't take any medication. Um, February, I took all my medication. And then now we're in March and I've taken all my medication today. So I have to mark that down later. I'll mark it down after this video. Um, I also on the side as notes have what I'm taking and how many times a day. So then we're into February and now we get to another fun part. And nope, nope, not that yet. Okay, that was from the last few weeks. Okay, so then I have this nice page. And I have a few of these pages. I have from week one to now, which is week 11. Yeah, 11. So, you know, basically the end of week 11. So I started, I wrote down weeks 9 through 11, do what you can, because I was just, I'm just not, I haven't been feeling it with the anxiety, the depression, the pain. It's just been, it's been crazy. And I either lose my days and I just totally forget, or I'm just like, no, I'm not doing it today. And of course, a big vehicle with you know, an engine and stuff drive by. So, um, starting, uh oh, I just lost a piece of paper. I just lost one of my tabs. <sighs> so, week 12, which is going to be starting Sunday, um, I have weeks 12 through 15. And when I finish each day, what I have written down. Um, you'll see Sunday, kind of see, I'm sorry. It has Sunday through Saturday, and it has little task boxes next to those days. And it also says what I plan to do for that day. Um, so like on Sunday, I'm going to do 20 minutes of stretching, an hour walk, uh, yoga, however long that is. I usually go on YouTube, like I come here on YouTube, and I go to uh, yoga with Adrienne because she's my favorite person to follow as far as yoga goes. And I do one of her videos. So the times vary. <coughs> and then I'm working on, uh, I believe I mentioned this app before, um, 30 Day uh, Abs. Yeah. And just to work out my core to help my back. So I'm going to do that too. And I'm going to do each day of that for each day of the week. So, and then I'm going to alternate between lower body workouts and weight training along with those. Um, to kind of give myself a little, just something different to do and kind of confuse my body a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do as far as that goes. Um, I do not record my food in here. That is a totally different animal. If I do that, I'm not going to have room for anything else. Um, so I just keep it on my fitness pal. Um, I might write it out just to like give to the uh, diabetes specialist I see. Um, or I just take my phone and I'm like, here, this is what I had, you know, because it shows you what you had, like, the previous days. But yes, this is my bullet journal. And I absolutely love it. Um, I loved the idea of doing a bullet journal. I never used to keep calendars. I never needed a journal to keep track of any of this kind of stuff because I would remember to do it. I wouldn't have an issue. Um, now with all the different medications and the different uh, medical conditions that I have and everything else, my mind is just out here somewhere. So having a journal like this 
brings my brain back and helps me keep track of it and makes me go, oh yeah, I need to do that today. Because if I don't, then, you know, if I don't do it today, I might not be able to do it tomorrow. Or I can't wait and do it tomorrow. I have to do it today. Um, and it helps me, of course, keep track of my appointments and things. And I have the calendar behind me, the cute little puppy in the flower pot behind me for March. I have that, and I also have, and I don't have it over on this side, I have it behind me on the little desk. Um, our, you don't have to get it. <laughs> Puppy's like, oh, I need to get something. No, you don't. <laughs> don't have to get it, but thank you. Um, I have a uh, agenda book, calendar book, where it has the calendar, and the next few pages are kind of similar to this, where I can write down uh, what I need to do for the day. Um, it also has all my contacts in there and passwords for things because my mind, it's like, nope, I don't remember that. Like, I will go onto a website that I haven't been on in like a month and I'll be like, oh, what's my login? Huh. I never used to have to deal with that either. I, I could always remember um, what my passwords and my logins were even like months down the road, but now I can't do that. So I have to write it down in that or it will be gone forever because <laughs> I won't remember it or it will be gone for several months and all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, that's what it is. That's the password. That's the login. So I really wanted to share that because I know that there are people out there like me that they forget, you know, we're human, we forget things, and sometimes things like this, I like showing it off. I'm proud of my little journal. Things like having a bullet journal or even just a calendar or just a piece of paper that says, hey, this is what you got to do today. You know, something along those lines helps some of us to stay on track with things. So I wanted to share that because it's a cute, creative way. Um, you don't have to do it like I did. Like you don't have to have the tabs. I did the tabs because it's easier for me to navigate. Um, you don't have to write exactly what I wrote. You don't have to do exactly how I did it. The great thing about having a bullet journal is you can make it your own. You don't have to follow a set thing. Um, and it doesn't even have to be about health and wellness. It can be about, you can make it anything. Like, this is mostly health and wellness related, but like, I have the books to read. You know, I mean, I guess you could put that under mental health <laughs> if you want. But, I mean, and then of course I have the days every month, each day has something to do. Like, oh, I have to do laundry or I have to, you know, call this person, or, you know, that's not necessarily health-related either, but it's part of my life. And technically, I mean, if you're organized, and you can, I should say mostly organized, because I don't think there's anybody who's perfectly organized out there. If you are, yay for you, but I don't think the majority of people are fully just have everything together all their little ducks in a row um i keep seeing a post on facebook that says i don't have ducks and i don't have a row i have squirrels and they're at a rave um yeah my squirrels are at a rave and i <laughs> i have to keep calling them back from the rave so <laughs> and my husband is across the table dancing over there he's my squirrel <laughs> he's he's my squirrel he has attention attention deficit training <laughs> but yes if you think that a bullet journal is something that will help you or even if you just want to even if you're not sure if it'll help you you just want to give it a try you could easily just take some pieces of paper and make a journal out of them. 
You don't have to get a whole journal. You know, if you're not sure, I encourage you to just do it on even just scrap paper. You just keep the scrap paper together in one place. Um, put it a paper clip, paper clip it all together if you have to, just to give it a shot. That is something, and I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my neighbor upstairs is like moving furniture at almost seven o'clock at night. He's in bed, and I just want to go up there and I don't want to make him hear that. I'm like, are you serious? But I'm not going to because I'm way too nice. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I never do it because I'm way too nice and I don't like conflict. And my husband knows I'm being that way. <laughs> I will tell you later, he has his headphones in, so he has no idea what I'm saying. I could be being mean about him, and he has no clue! <laughs> no. But, yeah. I encourage you to give it a try. If you are absolutely certain a bullet journal will help you, I encourage you to get a little notebook. It doesn't even have to be doesn't even have to be a notebook. You could put pieces of paper together and just clip them together and have a notebook. Uh, you could have any kind of book. Um, you could go to get a sketchbook and, and make a bullet journal that way. It does not have to be a composition book. It doesn't have to, it. It's what you want it to be. That's why I like it. And I like composition books the most, so I ended up using a composition journal. Um, Do it. Give it a shot. Uh, do it on scrap pieces of paper if you're not sure if this is going to work for you and you don't want to spend the money on a composition or any kind of journal-like book of some sort. <laughs> journal-like book, yes. Okay. You get my point. Give it a shot. Either way, I would recommend giving it a shot. bullet journal because I really like showing it off. I think it's pretty. It's pretty. I like it. It's mine. My precious. <laughs> so that is bullet journals. Oh and if you don't know what to do as far as like your pages um, you could always Google bullet journals and there are a ton of websites that will give you ideas like I did not do you know like the key thing for me I looked that up um, I saw the books to read um, on when I searched because I really had no clue at first what to do and I didn't know what to do as far as um, my weight loss like I found the the weight loss uh, the little numbers I found that so I took some aspects of what I found online and then I created my own stuff at the same time. So if you're not sure what to start with, online, just look it up, see what you can find. And if something resonates with you, use it. So yeah. I'm going to do it again. Sorry, guys. Bullet journal. I'm going to do it again because like I said, it's pretty and I like it and it's mine. <laughs> I hope everyone has a good night. I will see you tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday and that is the last day of my week um, as far as my fitness. So, and my, you know, my daily, or sorry, not daily, weekly. That's my weekly video update. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. And whatever it is you're doing, just keep going.